Welcome. I am getting on very last minute. Let me move this down just a little bit. I'll resituate in a minute when we start cutting. Um, I don't get on a lot cutting out patterns, so um, I thought I would just film while I cut out this Plumeria cross fatty body bag that just came out from Bagstock. So I have done the larger version of this and I absolutely love it. And I thought the small one looks so cute. So we are going to work on cutting that out today and I will probably sew it up today or tomorrow. I'm not sure which. Um, I am going to do all vinyl and canvas, like a water resistant canvas. So I don't think I'm gonna need hardly any interfacing for it just because it's a smaller bag. It's gonna have structure. Um, I probably will just protect where my connectors and stuff are with some Decaville. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna interface much. I have my heat press here just in case I change my mind as I started out. So hello everybody, hi sister. Um, yay, happy Friday. I get to go to a concert tonight, so I'm excited. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we got a good group going. I'm going to show you the bag real quick on my computer. That's usually pretty helpful, I think. Let's do that real quick. So this is the Plumeria crossbody bag. That is what we are sewing. Oh, just a second. All right, that's what we are cutting out today. It's super cute. Um, I am gonna change just a couple things on it. I don't think I'm going to do the card slot and coin zipper pockets on the front inside pocket. I think I'm gonna leave that out um, just because of the materials I'm using and I just think that would be easier for me and what I want it for, so yeah. All right, yay, hello everybody, okay. Custom tees, you just made it? It's cute, right? All right. The um, peg, so this is a smaller crossbody bag. So it's just smaller in size because the original is a pretty good size bag. Um, so this is just a smaller compact design of that pattern. Okay, here we go. So the materials, I'm going to be sitting down for most of it. I'm back in a boot. My foot is back in a boot. Long story. Anyway, so I'll be trying to sit down for most of this. Hopefully that works. Um, so I am going to use these two vinyls on my outside. This one's from Zorel. This one is from Indo Love. Love it so much. And I am in love with this black and white striped canvas that I got from Fabric Therapy. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna order a ton of it. And I think we might be putting this in our kits for So Magical Expo, I'm super excited. Um, so I don't think I need interfacing. We'll see. <laughs> all right, I will link all of where you can purchase these materials down below in the description when I'm done. Um, recording this video. So if you're like, I want the links, I'll get it for you. Or Brittany's awesome. And she's always on that too. So if you really need it, ask. She's on here. Thank you, Brittany. Hi, Kalisha. All right. Let's, so let's start. I'm going to put you kind of more down towards my table here and we will start cutting this cute crossbody out. All right. How's that? Let me know how the angle is for you guys. Hopefully that works. Yay. Okay. Um, sorry, let me just make sure I have my computer all set up here. All right, here we go. So I have my cut sheet all printed out here. Um, it just makes it easier for me to keep track of everything because I don't print off all of the pieces, especially the ones that are just like squares and rectangles and have measurements. Um, I only usually cut out the ones with curves that need an actual pattern piece. So here we go. I'm going to, I think I'm also gonna use a pre-made crossbody strap for this. 
I think I have a white cute one that I got from, I think, Indo Love quite a while ago that I'm going to use for my crossbody strap. So I'm gonna start with my purple. We're gonna get the exterior vinyl all cut and then we'll go to the canvases. Hi everybody. All right. I do like to do most of all of my cutting with a rotary. You guys have seen that before. I did buy this cute little smaller one and I absolutely loved it. You guys suggested it last time and it is fabulous. So I am going to be doing that. And I think, what am I doing on the back of this bag? I wonder what she has on the back of her bag. I think I'm gonna use this for the back of my bag as well. Cause I don't think there's a back pocket, right? Front, yeah. Okay, sorry. I have never cut this bag out. Well, I haven't cross cut the crossbody out before. I've made the um, bigger design. So let's do this. Hi, Nicole. Yay. Jennifer, it is an awesome mix of people. I love seeing who all joins these lives. It's super fun knowing where everybody's from. Absolutely love it. All right, so I'm just doing my gusset first. Again, I'm not some kind of cutting professional. This is just how I like to do it. So many ways to cut out patterns, guys. So many ways. And this is my way. Hi, everybody. All right. I have so many like little pattern weights I like to use. There we go. All right. Hopefully you guys can all see this okay. Looks like you can. My kids are actually at their cousin's house right now, so it's nice and quiet. Figured it was a perfect time to do this. Mm, gotta go pick them up when I'm done. All right. So that is my exterior gusset piece. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to put any interfacing on this bag because I'm using pretty structured um, things. So. All right, so what else do I need this for? Let's see, I need, I have my pieces all up here kind of organized. I need my back to exterior. So I'm going to do this, my back. All right, here we go. And it really doesn't matter if I'm cutting with this vinyl right side up or right side down pattern piece because it's all, it's all the same any way I do it. So that part does not matter right now. Some patterns it does. So just pay attention to that. Um, Pammy, hot from California. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's finally getting warm here. We have had such cold weather and it is finally in the 90s here, which is crazy. Maybe the 80s. I don't know. It has not been hot here until today. I need my rotating mat. I always forget. Put it under me. <laughs> yes, it's Friday, Lisa. <laughs> All right, so that's my back panel piece. I'm just going to do the purple for that, I decided. All right, and the only other piece I think I need this for. So she has two options on this bag. You can either do a just a full closure zipper on the top, or you can do a recessed zipper. I haven't decided which one I want to do yet. I should probably figure that out. 
Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys vote for? Which type of zipper should I do? I'm not sure. I didn't do great right there. Let's see here. There we go. Hello, hello. I am good. Arizona, 113 degrees. Yuck. No, thank you. That's why I left Arizona a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm not big of a tracer um, when it comes to doing my patterns. <laughs> I try to do the quickest, quickest, easiest way possible. So, all right. So there is my contrasting piece there. Just gonna clip that on there because that's the only one I have to cut from that piece. All right. So I'm going to do a pre-made strap. So I just need strap connectors, I think, from this. Um. Yep. So we're gonna do that strap connectors. All right. Right there. It's not too hot here. No, we're in Colorado and it's been pretty a pretty cool summer so far. It's just warming up for us. Yeah. Hi, Carol. Recessed. I was thinking of doing a recessed zipper. I don't really love the other full closure type on these, so I think I will do a recessed zipper for this bag. Done. All right, so I'm just drawing my middle lines on these connectors and prepping that. I just like to do that while I'm making it. Do I have any tape? I usually tape it too, but I don't see where my, I must have put my tape somewhere. Okay, so there's my two connectors. So I will, I'll do my recess zipper panel top piece out of this. Okay, let's see what it needs to be. Main zipper closure four. Sorry, I'm just looking at this because I didn't print out all of the pieces, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, we will do that. I try to like to leave one side of my vinyl with a strip in case I have to do a cross body strap with it. That's why I'm not touching this side, just so you're like, why aren't you using this? That's why. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'll have to cut that down just a little bit, but that's okay. This will be part of my recessed zipper panel there. I'll do another one here. And I'll do the bottom part of it out of my um, canvas, I think. So there is the top part of it there. All right, so I think I'm done with this purple. I'm gonna put my purple away. Terry, you are just fine. We just started. All right, so now we're gonna do this pretty moon uh, vinyl. I think it's so gorgeous. 
I love it. All right, so this will be my other front piece of my bag. So I'll do that behind here. So now I have to pay attention to which way everything is going to go. All right, so I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. Line that up. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> You're skipping your training seminar, huh? So that is the other, oh, isn't that cute? I love it. Hi, Cynthia. All right, so twister, and then I will need this for my lining, so I'm gonna leave it there, put that back there. And then I need my front pocket piece right here. Right? Yes, here we go. And then I think that's all of the Moonbeam vinyl I'm using since I'm not using it on the back. Maybe I should have done this with the back. I don't know, guys. <clears throat> hello, hello. Um, yeah, I don't know if Zorel currently has this one on their website. I bought it the other weekend when I was in Palm Springs and they were there doing a booth. So I'm not sure if it's currently in stock on their website. But it was the last roll of it and I'm like, oh, it's mine. <laughs> okay. So there is the front panel. I think I should have done this on the back, huh? Well, that's okay. I already cut it. All right, so that's the only one I need of that. Clip it, done. Put this away. Yay. All right, so next I just need to work on my inside pieces. So those are all my outside pieces. This should be a pretty quick bag, like, because it's pretty small. And this is going to be the inside of my bag. It's so funny, I have these two big tables and I still feel like it's not enough room to cut bags out. <laughs> All right, so I need two of these lining pieces. And I am going to cut them both at the same time. Hold this over. Hi from Finland and South Africa and the UK. Yay. All right, so here we go. I like to make sure my lines are all even and lined up when I do this. And I think I need to go a little bit more. No, there we go. Right here. Here we go.
<laughs> All right. So these are my two inside lining pieces. Oh, but you know what? Just kidding. I cut out the wrong one because I'm doing the recessed zipper panel, aren't I? Okay, let's change that real quick. Zipper front lining. Oh, maybe that's right. Lining. I, no, that's right. Okay, just kidding. For some reason, I thought it would be a different size, but it's not. Okay, so there's my two lining pieces. Put those back there. Is there, is the stripe also vinyl? No, this is like a canvas, a water resistant canvas, and I absolutely love it. It's a little bit lighter than um, an Ottertex waterproof. It doesn't have that PVC backing on it. Um, and it is so awesome for bag making. I absolutely love it. All right, so let's see, I need front exterior zipper pocket backing here. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go the other way, sorry. I like to do the curve on the back side of it. Where, where is this from? It's from a uh, fabric therapy. Um, I will, Brittany can maybe find it or I will link it below in the description when I'm done. I don't think she currently has it in stock, but I think it's going to be a pre-order that you can get. If I am correct, hopefully. You're welcome. It is Friday morning here. I'm like, what day is it? It's Friday morning here. All right, so that is my lining, right? And let's see. Front exterior zipper pocket backing. That's this. Okay. And I only need one of those. All right. And this I'm going to do out of just regular black. I'm going to switch a little bit. I have not, oh, I've made the big bag before. Yes. I've made the larger plume area. Um, I have not made this smaller version yet. All right, so all I need now is my gusset, right? Right, and I want my gusset to go this way to line up with the stripes and the lining, right? Yes. Yes, I think that is correct. So we will cut it on this side here, right there, get the stripes lined up. Maybe. Why aren't they lining up? Ooh, this is like off. There it is. Right there. Yeah, she's making some of these stripes with um, splashes of color because I requested it. <laughs> and I think you can pre-order that as well. Definitely join her Facebook and her, um, her name's Nancy, Fabric Therapy. She has a Facebook and an Instagram, go check her out. She's got some super cool stuff. And again, I really like this canvas. So many good different suppliers out there.
All right, so that is my inside lining. Okay, so I'm done with the gusset pieces. And then I know I'm missing some lining pieces here for my exterior of my bag. So let me figure that out. Natalie, thank you. It's a romper. It's super comfortable. Um, Heather, I'm just making this bag for a tutorial. It will probably be for sale on my website. All right, let's see what I forgot. I'm sure I forgot plenty because I didn't print out every pattern piece. Okay, let's see, exterior, front and back, exterior, front, yes, 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 yes. Yes. I'm not gonna do a zipper facing. I need that and that and that. Oh, I need the main zipper closure. And okay. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a piece on the front. I'm trying to think of because that front part is a slip pocket. I skipped something somewhere here. So let me just go over my pieces real quick. See, I've never cut this out before I go through this too. <laughs> All right. Exterior front zipper pocket. So that goes on the back of that. And those are my linings. And that's my front, and then I have my top. I think I need one more of this one. Found it, figured it out. I need one more of this. Backing, okay, here we go. One more of this, and then I can move on to the other pockets. There we go. All right. It has it up here and right here, and I wasn't looking at both of those, so make sure you're reading your pattern pieces all the way. It's easy to miss sometimes. I still might be missing a, a piece for the zipper pocket because I'm not doing exterior zipper pocket lining. Exterior front zipper pocket lining. That's what I need. Okay. I found my two missing pieces. I got it. I got it. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> you have no idea how to use it. Just start sewing things and practicing on it. The best way to figure it out is from experience and playing around with your machine. That's how I learned on mine. All right, so now I just need one zipper pocket lining for that front zipper pocket and I'm not doing the card slots or the coin slot so I'm just doing the zipper pocket let's see what's my measurement mm -mm -mm. okay
just me. So that's my front zipper pocket lining. And now I need to do my inside pockets and then my, oh, my recessed zipper panel. Let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. So I need... Two of these. That's a pretty quick um, cutout. Like I'm almost done and I'm using all vinyl and waterproof canvas so I'm not interfacing. I will put Decavel light um, on my gusset pieces where I'm sewing my connectors on. But that's about it. So that's the bottom part of my zipper panel, recessed zipper. All right, so that's all of this one there. Um, this cutting board is just a Fiskars cutting board and I got it off of Amazon. Super easy. All right, so now I am just using my black waterproof canvas from fabric.com and I'm going to do my inside slip pocket and oh you know what would be prettier is a purple I wonder if my purple matches this just a minute that would be better oh yeah let's do purple instead that'd be cuter against those stripes Okay, I'm gonna stand up. Hi from Norway. You're not in a sewing mood. Also, I need to clean my sewing room. Yes. I find if I'm not inspired and not feeling like it, if I do some cleaning, that helps my brain think of things that I would like to do. I always have to have a clean space before I start usually. For sure. Just trying to decide what would be the easiest way to cut this. I don't know. Right here, maybe. So this one is just my waterproof canvas from my website. The purple. So this does have that backing on it. That's the difference between this one and the striped one that I was using. Is that this has the waterproof backing on it. But it's still pretty thin. It's not as thick as normal uh, waterproof canvas. You know what? I think I'm just gonna do this on a fold because it probably gets sewn. Looks like it gets sewn into the pocket and I can just fold it over. Mm, I wonder. We'll see. I could be wrong. I can recut it if I need to. And then I just need my zipper pocket. What is my website, Brittany? Can you link my website on here? It's just siaswagbags.com. No www in front of it. All right, so let's see my inside lining zipper pocket. Okay. And we're done. That's width, so maybe 14. I'm just gonna do it one full piece instead of uh, two separate pieces.
miss something. I'm just doing this an inch bigger than what the pattern calls for and I'm doing one continuous piece because I'm I'm just going to do the pocket zipper pocket my way instead of the way the pattern is so you could choose to do it either way so there is my inside zipper pocket piece and now all I have to do for my bag that I'm making is I am going to adhere some Decaville light onto my gusset where the connectors are going. Because they will be sewn on to this gusset. So I will put, maybe I should just do a strip of Decaville on the gusset. I think I will. All right, so she's got a piece for that, which is fabulous. Keeps it out of your seam allowances. It'll give my bag a little bit more shape with that on it. So that'll be good. I got this big old roll of Decaville Light from Waywack. Absolutely love it. Look how much that is. It's like huge. It was not cheap, but it was totally worth it with how much I use Decaville. Hi from Hawaii. Jealous. Love to be in Hawaii right now. Hi from Sweden. So many awesome people. All right, just a little bit more. Stay out of my way. Gonna cut this out. Do you need a recessed zipper interior? You don't. You don't have to do a zipper at all if you don't want to. You can do a magnetic snap for closure on this. You can do a full closure zipper on top or you can do the recess. There's multiple options for this bag, which I like. Okay, so I'm just gonna adhere that to my gusset here and it will be, why is it bigger? That's weird. It goes all the way to the top. She has it going all the way to the top. I'm not going to have mine go all the way to the top because I want to keep that bulk out of the top of mine since I'm doing all vinyl. If you're doing cotton materials, then it's fine. But since I'm doing all vinyl, I'm going to keep that out of my top. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take this over here to my heat press. And then we will be done. All right, so here's all my pattern pieces cut out. Here are some Teflon sheets, super important when you are putting um, Decaville onto vinyl or waterproof canvas or anything that can't have direct heat. My heat is too hot for this. Just a second. I don't know. Um, okay. So I'm just going to take my piece and try and get it as centered as possible. You can draw your lines on your piece to help get it centered perfectly, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Looks pretty good. And then make sure you cover that. You can even use two sheets, I usually do. And I don't really press it all the way. I do just short presses because I don't want to damage my vinyl. Looks good. Let's 
see if I can get this next piece all in one. All right. Mine's pretty hot, so it's adhering pretty fast. And there it is. Okay, I think that's it. That's all we got. Um, I am going to figure out which hardware. Um, I'll show you the strap I'm gonna use real quick. So uh, that's why I didn't cut out a strap. I have these pre-made straps that I haven't used from, I'm pretty sure they're Indo Love Creation. They're just out of this cotton webbing. And I thought this would be cute with the bag, just this white strap. So I guess I'll be doing gunmetal. <laughs> I'll be doing gunmetal hardware with it. And maybe I'll come back in about an hour or so and just sew this up on another live today. So stay tuned. I usually will post on my Facebook and my Instagram before I go live. So if everything goes right, I will come back on and we'll sew this up. Did I miss some questions? You know, Brittany, I tried to get magnets to hold it on and my magnets kept falling off. So maybe I didn't get the right type of magnets for it. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Anything else? Did I answer all your questions? Is that my new heat press? Yes. It's just from Amazon. It's on my Amazon um, list. I like it. It works great for what I need it for. Um, I haven't had any issues so far, so I would recommend it. Oh, no, Leslie. <laughs> Sorry. Hi and bye. I'm going to go pick up my kids. I'm going to have a little bite to eat, and then I think I'll get back on here live, and we'll sew this cute little bag up. All right. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in a few hours. Okay. Bye.